Hello everyone, welcome to it. My name is Tembi and I am a travel enthusiast. I know I'm in a gown, but I'm going to explain that later. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you things to do in and around Port Elizabeth. I spent the last few days with the Nelson Mandela Bay tourism team and we did some really, really fun things. And I'm going to show you them. I know that a lot of people in PE don't know what to do or they want to do things. However, a lot of the activities together are quite expensive. That is why they've created the Nelson Mandela Bay Tourism Pass. I call it the passport because this gives you access to a lot of discounts for activities. But most importantly, it literally allows you to do some activities completely free. Like if you have this pass, you can do these things for free. I would tell you all the boring details, but I'm not, I don't want to bore you. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box below telling you which pass does what, for how many days, how much it costs. I will be doing the regular pricing as well, um, but I'll leave you all the things. I'm just going to leave you the links in the description box down below, okay? So today I am at Camelot Spa. This is also part of the things that you can do in the past. This I have done last. We've done all of the activities over the past couple of days, and this I'm doing last because I feel like now I can, you know, finally relax. So I am going to go and I'm going to get my treatments, and while I do that, I am going to be showing you you guys what we got up to. Hello everyone, so I don't know if you guys can hear me but we are at Pro Dive and we're about to go kayaking. It's raining but it's not cold at all so the weather's actually really nice. Um, so let's go. gonna have breakfast um, at the courtyard hotel so I'm very excited I'm very very hungry and the water has made us so hungry so yeah let's go in Indoor rock climbing, and we're doing it 
at this indoor climbing center. This is it. So let's go in. guys we have arrived at heavenly stables it is actually raining a bit you can't see it so well but um we are gonna brave the rain and we're just we're just gonna go the horses are out they're ready for us so it's not pouring so let's see Okay guys, so I'm on my horse, um, my horse's name is Lightning, and we are just taking a stroll, we might make it onto the beach, um, but I'm going to show you guys, really nice, really calm, Ooh, Lightning is misbehaving, so I gotta go. having a lunch which was amazing it was prepared by the chefs over there thank you very much thanks bye bye, bye, -bye. so now we're gonna get going so please don't make a lot of noise these are wild animals but minimum noise is all out Okay. okay, so this family hall is there, as I said, six of our nectars. Mm -hmm. We've got different animals, including the big five animals. Yeah. But when we say general uh, games, we mean like animals like water beans, like both and particular. So we are on the Grundal hike right now. It is a mutinic and um, it's quite a drive from PE. We're on it. It's kind of raining. I don't think you can see that. But um, yeah, as usual, I'm going to leave all of the information in the description box down below. And um, for now, we've just started the hike, so there's not much. But I would definitely recommend that you wear proper shoes. I mean, I'm wearing the wrong shoes and look at how muddy it is so definitely get yourself some good shoes before you come especially if it has rained before um, like a few days before you, you've been here but yeah it's eight kilometers there and eight kilometers back and we're gonna see how it goes um, we kind of have to be on time because we've got something else to do after this so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. 
the good thing is that there are some rock pools at the end and that's kind of what's motivating me like anytime I'm on a hike and there's a waterfall or like a river I can do it because we're gonna get the end chills so yeah okay I can't breathe so I'm gonna go okay so we are a couple of kilometers into the hike and honestly it's not that bad for now the only reason that it's making it quite challenging for us is that it's extremely slippery and we all have like running shoes on so um, just make sure that you if you can avoid coming after excuse me if you can avoid after if you can avoid coming after it's rained then um, don't do that but for now it's chilled like it's really it's so peaceful um, and yeah I'm, I'm enjoying it now I'm just really excited for the rock pools that's what I really want to see um, and the views of course when we get to the top because that will make it worth it but yeah I'm gonna catch up with you guys later I don't want to slip for the vlog so I'll see you guys later enjoy this video if you do like it leave it a thumbs up if you like this sort of content please make sure to subscribe and if you want to say anything add anything please do leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching it's time for me to go and get her food so see you later bye